What's happening? Well, tonight we're going to do some fuel pressure testing on my 2004 Tahoe. Now, this Tahoe has the 5.3, but it's the flex fuel engine. How do you know if it's the flex fuel engine? Well, let me show you. So, go to your VIN number and count eight digits from the left. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a Z. Now, you're probably wondering why am I making such a big deal about this thing being flex fuel? Well, as far as I know, the location of the test port's different, as well as the pressure specifications different for just the gas 5.3s. Our journey begins here at the engine bay cover. Got an eight millimeter socket. Spin this guy off of here. Oh, it's like that, is it? Hey, how you like me now, biatch? Right here on this flex fuel engine is our fuel pressure test port. Now, there is not a problem with my Tahoe right now, so this line is under pressure. Before I go and hook a gauge up to this, I want to relieve the pressure from the fuel system. And we can do that by using the fuel pump relay. I'm just gonna pull this cover off of here. This guy right here is our fuel pump relay. We'll go ahead and pull him out. There's an alternative way to do this, which would be to start the engine and let it run and then pull this out. I'm go ahead and I'm gonna take this cap off right here. Set him up out of the way where he won't get in any trouble. I'm gonna stuff a rag down here. Cause there's a chance we might drip off a little bit of stuff when we hook this gauge up. Oh, you see that? I'm gonna put the fuel pump relay back in. So turn the key on. Turn the key on again. That's one way. I'm gonna pull this fuel pump relay out of here. What we have here is just a pin I robbed out of an oxygen sensor. To be fair, the other end of this is just, just the little strands of uh, copper. So you don't really need a fancy pin, although it does make things like kind of easy. From your point of view, the front of the truck's facing you. So you're actually standing at the bumper looking down this way. Well, if I just take this jumper and I go into, from your point of view, would be the back left terminal. And I jump it to the front right terminal. I just turned the fuel pump on. Listen. Just so you guys don't think I'm bullshitting. You watching? That's it. I'm gonna put the fuel pump relay back in. So according to the service information, what they want you to do is with the key on and the fuel pump relay in, to command the fuel pump on using the scan tool. Well, that's easy enough. On, we got up to about 48, then the relay kicks off. Can you hear the click and listen? What you're hearing over what might be on your right side is the relay. If you were looking at your little label underneath your fuse box cover, there's a little thing right here. Can you see that? Can you see it? How about now? How about now? You should be able to see that now. It says Prime. What the hell's Prime? Optimus Prime died a long time ago. From my understanding of Prime, it was a way to quickly test the fuel pump relay circuits. Prime is just linked right to 87 of the fuel pump relay down inside there somewhere. I don't know where. I don't care because I don't use Prime. I'm old school, I just use the jumper test. I also drew this little diagram up. Now, the front of the truck is facing this way. This is from my point of view when I was doing this test. All I did was go from 30 right over to 87. That put 12 volts directly back to the fuel pump. I also made a little note here, kind of like how they described it on the OEM diagram. 
The prime is just also tapped into 87. That's it. So for our flex fuel key on engine off, our pressure spec is anywhere from 48 to 54. We checked in at a cool 50, so we're cool there. We'll even put on a little cool face. Oh yeah. Most of the time with the fuel pumps on these things, it's either all or nothing. It's either got enough pressure to run or the pump's just dead. We've had the truck shut off for a couple minutes. We've still got 25, 26 pounds of pressure on this thing. So we kind of need to get this pressure down before we take that pressure tester off of there or else we're going to have a huge freaking mess. Well, we already know how to do that, right? The fuel pump relay is not in there. So I'm going to go ahead and crank the motor now. Just watch the gauge. Remember, I've got the relay out. I just shoved the rag under here again because we might we might lose a little bit. I'll spare you guys the lecture on the dangers of gasoline and flame or whatever. I just seen how the stuff's flammable. Take our little cat, put him back on there. You know how many people think that this is the fuel pressure test port? It's not. Mr. Eight millimeter back on here. The way this relay is with four pins, it can go in either way. It doesn't matter. If you have like OCD or something and you want the numbers to all face the same way, that's cool. You'll also notice that I took out the low beam relay here because with me cycling this key on and off and on and off with these stupid fucking auto lights in this truck, I don't want to kill my HIDs. Put him back on. All right. Now the gauge you see me use was part of a kit that is used for many makes and models of vehicles. You don't need all that shit. What I'll probably do is just do what I did when I did the video for the fuel pressure in the pickup. And I'll just put up a link to, you know, an alternate. If I remember right, the last one I linked was from Amazon. It was like a, a gauge made by Actron or somebody. I think it was only like 13, 15 bucks, something like that. You may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. You may ask yourself, why am I testing fuel pressure? Why am I testing fuel pressure? The number one reason for me ever testing fuel pressure, like ever, is for crank no start. It's like part of like the first steps for any vehicle, whether it's my 2003 Trailblazer, 2004 Tahoe, 98 pickup, even the uh, Silverado Sierras. It's like the first steps. I had one that had a PO171 that had low fuel pressure. The fuel pressure was enough to run the engine, but the PCM was dumping so much fuel into the motor, you know, through the injectors, that it went out of the threshold, turned on the light, and it actually ended up being a fuel pump problem was causing a PO171. It wasn't on a Chevy truck or anything like that, but I thought it was important to throw that in there. Like I said, the number one reason that I test fuel pressure is for crank no start. Now this is just for testing the fuel pressure. Now while I did show some of the relay circuits, I didn't include them all because that really kind of gets its own video. One other thing I want to throw in here, this little jumper was from the automotive testing tools video that I robbed out of the O2 sensor. You don't really need this to do that jumper test. You can just take a regular little piece of 16 gauge wire or something strip a little bit off of each end and do your jump right there so that about wraps it up for the 2004 Tahoe 5.3 flex fuel Z engine fuel pressure test but thanks for watching if you like what you see subscribe if you don't like what you see subscribe anyway do it it doesn't cost you nothing yeah it doesn't cost you anything there's no reason where are you gonna find shit like this you know what I mean All right, I'm smoking cigarettes again, all right? I'm sorry. Here you go. Here, kids, be like me. Smoke Marlboro Lights. Actually, don't do it because it's highly fucking addictive and it will control your life forever and ever until you die, and then you'll still be addicted. 
even though nothing happens when you die. Anyway, so my man who doesn't want to get on camera here, um, he wanted to know why I made such a big deal about that flex fuel thing, and I kind of touched on it at the beginning, but I don't want to put that in there. It's going to fuck up the continuity of the video, so I figure I'd rather just do it here at the end. I'll throw that in there too then. It'll make a good outtake. How's that? <laughs> I'm a regular guy. You know what I mean? I watch the same videos everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? And and it just kills me. You get watching something and then they, they reveal something. It's like, wait a minute. That's not even the right fucking engine. You know what I'm saying? You know, if it's like, you didn't tell me that thing had the auto HVAC system. You know what I mean? Why did I waste five minutes of my life? I don't want to just go up there and say how to test Tahoe fuel pressure because let's just say that somebody had the gas engine and they pull that cover off and that test port's not right there. They're gonna be like, what the fuck did I watch this video for? You know what I mean? 